Greetings everyone, on today's video I'll be rope dropping Rise of the Resistance. Let's roll that intro. I'm here to rope drop Rise of the Resistance, but we're gonna actually have to go back in the past a couple of minutes to show you how it all played out. Well, let's rewind the clock, shall we? back to the past. Yes, we're waiting just for a few more minutes until rope drop happens. And I'm right over here, right by the entrance of Frontierland. Now this is what they used to do over here. Let Frontierland in just a little bit before everybody else. We'll see if that remains the case. Here we go. Like said, we're going to Frontierland side. It's already intense. Yep. So they're all going to the same place, probably. So yes, remember, no running. Uh, just, uh, Brisk walking. I mean, some of these people maybe aren't, aren't doing that, but they're excited. <laughs> we just want you to be safe. Everybody, just be safe out there. So as you head towards either the Mark Twain or the Columbia, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head to your right towards Big Thunder Mountain. That's going to get us over to Rise. Hopefully. Oh, huh? <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my gosh. As we head down past Big Thunder Mountain, what we're going to want to do is take our next left. And yes, even though I was <laughs> pretty close to the rope. So a lot of people have gotten ahead of me, as you can see. <laughs> Gosh, I'm curious to see how long we wait for Rise now. Walking into Galaxy's Edge. What we're going to want to do now is we're going to hang a left. And if you're coming this early in the morning, <laughs> like I am, just follow the people. So if you're like, I don't know how to get to Rise, just follow the people. Over here now by Ronto's Roasters, as you can see, we are in line for Rise of the Resistance right here. So, that's why I want to come this way. Come through Frontierland. If you go through New Orleans Square, you have to come all the way down and around still to get here. So look at that. We did it. There we go, we're going, oh, there's my private entrance. I didn't want to use it today because I wanted to show you what it normally looks like for most folks. But that's usually the door I come in. <laughs> Could you imagine if that were true? We're down here by the entrance. We're gonna have to kind of do this loop around here. And it looks like they're sending us through where the fast passes usually go through the lightning lanes. <sighs> Sorry, shouldn't have said that. Individual lightning lane. Sorry about that. Oh my gosh. All right, but yeah, we have the people from New Orleans Square. They got to walk all the way down around. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, those people. This is so strange. I like never go through this one. But we're doing it today. No fast pass required. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> okay, what if in the morning they just skipped all the pre shows? They just loaded you on the shuttles and just kept sending them around. They're like, all right, just go, just go, just go. I don't know if that would really help. I can really get appreciation for all the detailed theming they've done here, especially on this side of the queue. Wow, looks fantastic. Also, shout out to the horticulture team. This place is looking so good. Oh my gosh. Again, I'm kind of walking in through the fast pass or, dare I say it, lightning lane entrance. Basically what this does is gonna cut straight in and then we're going to go right over to the first pre-show here. So we skip most all of the entirety of the other line. Seems like they're loading them in here first and then moving them over to the regular standby queue. It's actually kinda of smart, honestly. I respect the strategy. Oh, yeah. Here we are, we just made it through into the first pre-show. Yeah, here we go. Uh, rise the resistance. Star Destroyer. Howdy boys, good to see you. Still in formation, glad to see you. It's good. Very well trained soldiers, I'll say that much. It's been about 15 minutes thus far. I don't think we've got too much longer to wait though, which is great. They just sent me right into the interrogation cell. We're in orange and it only took 18 minutes. When it all said and done. Here we go. I don't know why I love this portion of the ride so much. Just, uh, it's just like such a cool room. 
Oh, we actually got the good one too, because we're gonna get the probe droid up close, and then we'll get AT-ATs dead on. You'll see what I'm talking about. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. Oh, he's scanning that wall. <laughs> Bye. You're lucky it didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Oh. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, and go for the record. He's <laughs> Twenty-five minutes to actually get all the way over to Rise, get through the lightning lane, and then get on the ride, get off of it. So yeah, not too bad actually, not too bad at all. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse because there's a lot more people in front of me, but worked out pretty well. So that's how you do Rise Resistance still currently. Head to Frontierland and then <laughs> kind of sneak by Big Thunder and cut into Batsu. Do not go through New Orleans Square in Critter Country. Don't do it. Do not do it. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Unless you guys wanna do more. Do you guys wanna do some more? Okay, I'll go do some more. Let's go do some more. The wait time for Rise of the Resistance is now posted at 45 minutes, which is actually not too bad, considering some days you come here and it'll jump up, it'll just say an hour, like right away. But like I tell people, 
It's not that uncommon to see rise be less than an hour throughout the day. Yes, it will balloon to 70, 80, 90 minutes on busier days, but if you can play the fringes, like I always tell people, come in the morning or stay late, that's fantastic. Also, I believe they're still doing this where they're shutting down rise before park close. So if the park's open until midnight, they're not gonna keep it open until midnight like all the other attractions. So keep that in mind, please check before you come. I know what you're being like, <laughs> it's 11.59 p.m. and you're like, I put my toe in the rise of the resistance line and they have to let me go on, because that might not happen. Anyway, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head back to Frontierland because it says that Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is only a five minute wait and hopefully more of the trains are working or running by this point in the day. We can hop on pretty quickly, oh yes. Let's sell out Big Thunder. I also want to take a minute here just to thank all the patrons and the members, all the people supporting me financially here on the channel. Thank you so very, very much. If you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, if you look down the links below, you can see different ways to support me here. It really helps me survive. <laughs> so thank you so much, all the people donating, or Venmo, PayPal, all that stuff. If you can't do that, I totally understand. I just want to thank the people who do. I appreciate you. You are fantastic. I just so hope it's true. I hope it's true. Big Thunder Mountain. I love you so much. Five minutes. Now, like I was saying before, the thing is, hello, good morning. Uh, with Big Thunder, what happens is that they'll start off with like one or two trains, and then throughout the day, they'll keep adding them. And by throughout the day, I mean the first hour or two. So if you come a little bit later, sometimes it's better because there are just so many trains on track. Which is fantastic. But yeah. Oh, Big Thunder. I love you. Thank you so much. I just love this sight. Oh, the cloudiness, it really pops. Oh, you're so beautiful. Good morning, Rainbow Caverns. You're beautiful. I love you. Where we go? Wow! Oh, yeah, row eight, by the way. So, oh, look at there's a hunter right there. <laughs> that was cool. Woo! It's like Matterhorn. Oh. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> oh, go tricks coming up. Go tricks coming up. I so want to go right to Pirates. I'm gonna go check on Indiana Jones Adventure Colon Temple, the Forbidden Eye. See if we can still hop on with a shorter wait time. Let's see. Posted wait time for Indiana Jones Adventure Colon Temple, the Forbidden Eye, 15 minutes. That's not bad at all. That is rope dropish levels. We'll see if that is actually the case once we get inside the temple. It's one of the best queue lines in all of theme park demo. It's like, ugh. <laughs> so cool, so well themed. And I think this was like mid 90s. Like, come on. How cool. How cool is that? I still wish the bamboo pole were back though. Hopefully, they'll bring it back someday. I love that little noise and effect. So good. Maybe it took 10 to 15 minutes to get to this point, which is not bad at all. Not bad at all. Maybe you don't have to rope drop Indy. I'm always just worried. I'm always worried about Indy. Eh, it goes down all the time, so I'm always like, eh, go on it right away. So, if you really want to do Indy, I still say that. But. Maybe you can do Rise and then come do it in the afterwards. I don't know. Also, I want to say this too. There are no wrong choices in a Disneyland. Wherever you want to start your day, if you want to go right to the treehouse, walk around it all morning, you do that. You do whatever you want to do. Because you know what? Disneyland, it's whatever you want it to be, all right? All right. But I still say Indy's probably a good place to start. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's see what we get. our greatest patron. Thank you, Mom. Mara, what do you mean? I didn't know it was conditional. Mara, please. Mara, please don't pull your funding. Mara, please. Mara, Mara, please. No, oh my gosh. Oh dear. This looks like we're playing chicken today. But oh my gosh, Mara. Is such, <laughs> such a good ride. Snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. You guys are on the road. Hi, puppy. 
<laughs> if you scare people, that's really good. I love it. Oh my gosh. Indiana Jones Adventure Cold Temple, the Forbidden Eye. Now, I typically do a special bit here, but I was like, oh, I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to overdo it. There's a chance in the future, a whole video might be that bit. Does that be too much? If you know what I'm talking about, the serial, the kind of the black and white, I don't know. Let me know. The dramatic lighting in here, it's always changing. It's cute cool light, man. It's so good. It's so good. Also, uh, you know where we're going to go to next? Well, it might be kind of hard to tell in the darkness here, but... Might begin with a P and end with an Irons. You know what I mean? It's 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 pir pirates. I have to go on it. I have to go on it before the, the line gets crazy. Because <laughs> that, that happens now. By the way, the line for Indy now is out over here and wrapping in that beginning portion, so we got there just in time. Oh my gosh. Crazy. I said five minutes basically is that. This is fantastic. Five minute wait for a 15 minute attraction. Like, come on. The bang for your pirate buck. An ear. <laughs> it's horrible. Sorry, I should say the bang for your buck is pretty good here. It's pretty good here. Yes, we are back in the blue bayou. Tell it's blue bayou by the blue. <laughs> Hello, Gator. I love the caves so much. You could have a room in your house that looked like this. If somebody has a room in their house that looks like this, please comment below. I need to know. I need to know. <laughs> Spotlights on you. Crap. Spotlights on you. Still at it. I love your red bandana. I really do. I also the thought that like these two pirates were playing chess, they stalemated and then they just perished that way. It's like, you go. I can't. You go. I can't. <laughs> On the barrel right there, it says speaker here. Very interesting. I want to know, can I put a bit down for the speaker, please? That would be excellent. Yo ho yo ho, the pirates for me. Not too long ago, I got evacuated from this portion of the ride. If you want to see a video dedicated all to that, I will link it in the cards. Or at least you can check it out. See what that looks like. Pirates with the lights on. It was definitely something I have not seen ever. <laughs> that was so cool. Here we are at the end with all the bricks. I love you, bricks. You're so beautiful. <laughs> uh, which one's your favorite? That one? That one? Just take a moment when we're walking out here. It's kind of hard to see with this pergola above me. Wow! I probably noticed in the past, but like, it's so pretty. It's so great. Oh, I love that. It's, just, it's always something new. I see something new every time. I would mentioned it earlier, but yeah, I've seen people walking in the treehouse like right at the beginning of the day, honestly. So, if you want to do that, do it. And you know what? No line. No line at the beginning of the day of the treehouse. <laughs> well, 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 what do we have here? Indiana Jones Adventure Colton Temple of Forbidden Night is now down. Oh my gosh, we barely made it in. See what I'm talking about? You gotta get here. You gotta do it early. Oh no, Indy. Well, oh, poor Indy. Let's do something I don't do too often. I need to be better about because Jungle Cruise is in my top 10. Gotta show it some love. Love. It's just five minutes, probably a little bit more than that, but we're not upstairs, thankfully. Also, look at this theming. I don't know if I've ever noticed this ticket agent booth right here. Uh, Jungle Cruise, free excursions today. Today. Halfway for half fare. <laughs> uh, that's great. I don't know if that's like a thing that's like commonly used in the past, but to me it's funny. <laughs> it's like, I can take you halfway. You pay half. <laughs> Sometimes I like to take just a second and look around and think, this used to be an orange grove. This used to be an orange grove. Like, come on. Also, look at this support structure. It's like a tree. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Like the trunk of a tree. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. 
Wow, 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 back in the 50s. I can't, ugh. Incredible. I'm not sure I've ever noticed this poster before because I'm usually just walking on late at night. But wow, this is really cool. I like this. I like the design and everything. <laughs> Man, when the queue lines are entertaining, it makes the wait that much easier. Also, the back side of the ticket booth. Ah. This, I don't know if I've ever noticed this too, this tiger picture. All right, pop quiz. What's a group of tigers called? What's it called? I had to be reminded because I thought a group of tigers was called like a stripe or something. Actually, it can either be called a streak or an ambush. An ambush of tigers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, we were out on safari the other day and we saw an ambush of tigers. Looks like they just opened the stairs for us, so get my steps in. We're basically gonna go up, around, and then back down. <laughs> this is pretty funny. That's okay though. That's right, it'll be worth it. Okay. gonna do it for my rope drop rise video I hope you hold a second oh wait a wait a second you guys hear that it's calling it's calling to us all oh, that's right we have to go to the Matterhorn I'm like I'm off to the flame so beautiful <laughs> Line single rider on Tomorrowland side. Here's hoping for the back for the craziest ride possible. Oh, I love you, Matterhorn. You're hiding behind that tree. Oh my gosh. How many Matterhorn trees are there? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Is anybody even watching at this point? <laughs> it's Tomorrowland side. Never racing these folks. Harold's gonna have to choose to yell at. I don't know. I think he's gonna yell at us though. What up, brother? Oh, no, he kind of is in, in, in hand. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. That's so great. Oh, there they are again. That's so cool. Hi, guys. <laughs> Whoa. I love it when we race. Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, woo! Bye! <laughs> that was amazing, that was amazing. That's old fashioned family fun right there. Okay, okay. Whoa. Let's see if we can see him again. I hope so. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no. That's okay. We got to see him for a bit. That was a pleasant experience. Whoa, oh my gosh! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Oh yeah, Harold was 
quiet back there. I'm like, hi! <laughs> Whoa, did we go through a spot with like no hair? Or, or no, maybe we did, I just forgot. Yeah, I think that's what happened. You know, we saw him, we saw him twice. <sighs> Amazing. Amazing. Appreciation post, Matterhorn. Good at any angle. Oh, so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Well, everybody, that's gonna do it for my rope drop rise video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I do a lot of rope drop videos here, and I'm trying to like change them up a little bit. So as you've probably seen, there's been like a few kind of different ones throughout the like last couple of weeks and whatnot. But I hope you've enjoyed them. Uh, it's been fun making them, honestly. And I'm always here for rope drop anyway, so it like feels bad if I do it and I don't film it. Either way, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Thank you for liking and commenting. If you enjoyed this video, please consider doing those things. And also, if you really liked it, consider sharing it around. That'd be fantastic. But a huge thank you to all the people supporting me financially, such as the members here on YouTube and the patrons over on patreon.com slash Jimmy Good if you want to support the channel. Check out the links down below. I really appreciate that. But there's so many of you people doing that all the time. And know that I love you. And I appreciate you very, very much. Thank you for keeping me alive. Thank you. Anyway, until next time, just remember to adapt and overcome. Bye-bye. Your patience has been rewarded with a bonus bit. We're going on Space Mountain. Are you ready for this? I hope you guys can see some of it. Here we go. Here we go again. This is going to be a loud rocket. See that? Ah, oh my gosh. <laughs> We did it! We did it! Oh, so good. There you go. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, bye bye. Your patience has been rewarded with another bonus bit. Bonus, bonus bit, if you will. And now we get to go over to the Bengal Barbecue. Thanks to my friend Holly for sponsoring a lunch. And boy, oh boy, very excited to share it with you. And here we are with a tiger tail, which I haven't had in a while. I'm so excited. There's also the pork belly in there. Don't worry, we'll get some better shots of these as I unearth them. But also, the Zulu beef. I haven't had this beef skewer in a long time. It's very exciting. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Let's begin with the tiger tail, and this is my head. Mm. A little bit of a crunch to it, cheese on top, delicious. Really nice pairing for the savory stuff that's about to come. Now we're moving on to the pork belly. Look at this thing. Again, it's focusing on my face, but. So good. One of the savoriest things to me in the whole park. Hand down, hand down. Lastly, let's try out one of the beef skewers we made you. Oh, there it is. Mm. Oh. Tender. Tangy. Amazing. Really, really good. Side by side comparison. Beef on the left, pork on the right. Both fantastic. And then took a big bite out of this tiger tail. Oh, there's something else I forgot to mention. The chunk chew. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. <laughs> I love it so much. Holly, cheers. Thank you so much. Please, everybody, give your love to Holly. She deserves it. You're amazing, Holly. So good. It's, I'm just gonna be here. I'm just, just eating the whole time. <laughs> Even though we are now done with the Bengal barbecue, wait, there's more. Yes, that's right, we have one more place we have to go to, thanks to Holly, it's very exciting. Oh. That's right, the Ann Moore is at the Harbor Galley. Oh no, I'm not getting a lobster roll. At least, I don't think I'm getting a lobster roll. I don't know. I honestly didn't know what Holly was gonna order me the first time. I don't know what Holly's gonna order me now. It's very exciting either way. The time has finally come, thanks to Holly, to try out these fabled chocolate chip cookies. Oh my gosh, everybody's been talking about these. I've never had them. 
and I'm a bit of a chocolate chip cookie enthusiast, so also got some milk with it. Perfect. I'm so very excited. Look at these little guys. Come here, you. And they're fresh. They're warm. Oh, goodness. Oh, the moment of truth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I don't know if you can even see this. It's very gooey. Oh, still a bit of a crunch though. Oh. Sidebar, sidebar. Might be my new favorite dessert in all of Disneyland. It's incredible. It is so good. I, I, I love these things. And I get how many? I get six. I get six. I want a baker's dozen. I can see why people are talking about this. This was a big deal a few weeks ago or a few months ago. I don't know, I was kind of, I kind of missed out on it, but I'm here now thanks to Holly. So thank Holly. Holly, thank you. Much love. All right, I'm leaving this. <laughs> Bye, everybody.